Good morning, everybody. Mike Vaki, PrincetonTrader.com, here for NTMarkets.com with your Tuesday morning pre-market webcast. Okay, we're looking at a 15-minute chart of the ES. Um, you know, I had mentioned in last night's webcast, I was very interested to see what Europe and what Globex did with the 1686 level. You know, 1686, 1687. And it still looks like it's trying to be resistance. Uh, you know, after a little push-up, um, you know, up off the Europe open, we came down to test today's uh, t uh, today's daily pivot, 1682.33, bounced off there. So daily pivot was very nice support in the overnight. Hope everybody saw the post last night with the evening recap and had that up on their charts. Uh, so we're back to encountering 87, and that is turning into into resistance. So this triple pivot area, uh, this triple pivot zone daily three day nine day this is really going to be where the day is fought today in in my opinion and whoever wins that zone is going to win the day that being said we've got the fed meeting starts today uh, you, you've got you've got the announcement tomorrow you're going to see at some point especially that, that we're here you know basically uh, you know a couple days short of the month of August where things are, are there, things are already slow. Things are going to get slower, and the usual flattening out of the trade ahead of the Fed, in my opinion, is going to get really, really flat. And we're going to really flatline for a while until we hear from Bernanke. What I'm going to do, and what we need to do as individual traders, is really resist the urge to overtrade and resist the urge to get chopped up in this because we could chop in a two handle range for half a day and it's really important uh, that you understand what's happening that you don't try to make something out of nothing and that you preserve your capital and save it for when you can use it which is when we get a reaction off the Fed and into Friday uh, for for the employment uh, report you don't want to be taking five, six, seven, eight trades, trying to do you know three ticks or trying to do a handle on a slow summer trade, and then you know you're so exhausted mentally uh, by the time it's it really is time to trade, uh, you know you're carrying all this baggage around in between your ears. You don't want to do that. So something to keep in mind um, as we look at the big picture on the daily chart. It's kind of telling that story too. The Bears can't really run with it. They've they've uh, they've had lows rejected three days in a row. At the same time, um, at the same time, this 8687 area is pretty good resistance. So we're just kind of grinding along, waiting for the Fed to decide what it wants to do tomorrow at two o'clock. So just keep that in mind. All right, everybody have a fantastic day. Mike Baki, PrincetonTrader.com. Check out the website. Follow us on Twitter at Princeton Trader. Come check out the chat room for a couple weeks. Uh, no, uh, you know, on a on a free trial. See if that works out. See if we fit into your trading. I think you'll like what you find. I'll be back uh, tonight with the evening recap and tomorrow morning with another webcast. Trade them well, everybody.